All right, hey everyone, how's it going? It's your brother Noah Hines. I hope that you guys are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. And today I'm going to be praying for your deliverance. So I encourage you guys to find a comfortable place where you're not gonna be distracted. Today we're going to pray against insecurity. We're gonna pray against lack of confidence, low self-esteem, inadequacy, etc. So I'm gonna be praying against uh, demons that cause a lack of confidence and internal problems related to that. Um, so various different things that you can be able to receive deliverance from through this video. If you guys are not yet, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel uh, so that you don't miss future videos regarding deliverance and other Christian related topics. So without further ado guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the prayer. Um, I'm probably going to actually have some background music in this prayer now. Um, so let me know down in the comment section if you guys enjoy that as I'm going through this prayer. Amen. So um, yeah, we'll go ahead and start praying now. Just make sure that you spend time in prayer with God. If there's anything you want to tell God, anything you want to confess to God before you listen to this prayer, make sure to go ahead and do so. And repent of, as well too of these things, of feeling like you're not good enough, feeling depressed, feeling insufficient, and not having confidence in God. These things are not necessarily willful sins like uh, getting drunk or heresy or committing adultery, but they are not things, they are things that God doesn't want you to carry. God wants you to be confident in Him. God wants you to be full of the joy of the Holy Spirit. God wants you to feel secure in His arms and His protection and providence. So if you have the opposite of that, that's not God's will. Amen. So just allow the Lord to deliver you as you listen to this prayer. So Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for my brothers and sisters, Lord. <clears throat> Father, I pray for their deliverance right now. I bind every demonic spirit that is related to these issues. I bind insecurity. I bind lack of confidence. Father God, your word says in the book of Proverbs that in the fear of the Lord, there is strong confidence. So Father, please fill them with a strong confidence that comes from knowing your son. I come against all demons that give them low self-esteem, inadequacy, every tormenting devil that says you're not good enough, you're ugly, you're um, not good looking, you're not attractive. I break those lies in the mind. I break those self-centered thoughts. Every demon that makes my brothers and sisters self-centered by constantly looking up to themselves, I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I thank you that uh, your word says they are fearfully and wonderfully made. I thank you, Father, that they can fix their eyes upon Jesus Christ and get their confidence from Jesus Christ. I come against all insecurity, not feeling secure in your finances, not not feeling secure in your body weight, not feeling secure in your outward looks, not feeling secure in your ability to communicate with others. Father, every demon that makes people feel insecure in their relationships with others, insecure in their marriage, insecure in, in not being able to trust in God, I come against all demons that cause a lack of trust in God. I command you, wicked spirits, to release the mind in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, I thank you that they are able to strive according to your mighty working power. Every demon that makes them feel not good enough, every demon that says, you are insufficient to be able to complete task. I break that doubt right now. That doubt and unbelief, I command it to go in the name of Jesus Christ. All insecurity and lack of confidence and failure that has come in through betrayal, that has come in through failure, I break it in Jesus' name. I command the fear of failure, anxiety around failing, I break it in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray that they be able to forget the things which are behind and press onward to the high calling in Jesus Christ. Every heavy expectation, fleshy, false burden expectation, I break it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, all demons that came in through their parents having too weighty of expectations upon them to be perfect, 
all perfectionism, uh, demonic spirits, I command it out right now in Jesus' name. Every demon that makes people give up and quit unless they're perfect, I command it to go right now in the name of Jesus, striving for perfection in your own flesh, lying to please others, lying to do that which is perfect, afraid of making people angry. I command the fear of making people angry, all man-pleasing spirits, to come out. I command you demons to come out of the mouth, come out of the eyes. I command all heaviness manifesting on the chest to release them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray fire against you demons. We command you out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right now, come out spirits. All insecurity that has come in through broken relationships, I command it out in the name of Jesus and I pray, Father God, that their soul wounds would be healed. Every demon hiding in their soul wounds, I command it out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ right now. Release them and go to the pit. Release them and go to the abyss right now, spirits. We command you out in Jesus' name. Father, your word says, all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. So we fight against these demons with the sword of the spirit. The word of God says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So I pull down every stronghold right now every spirit of vanity constantly focused on your outward appearance i break it in the name of the lord jesus christ father your word says that we are safe and secure in your hands and no one can pluck us from the father's hand so lord i pray that they would draw confidence father your word says to acknowledge every good thing that is in us by Christ Jesus, that the communication of our faith may grow. Every demon that gives people doubt right before they speak, doubting that people care about what you have to say. Self-inflicted punishment of depression. Self-inflicted punishment of guilt. We command it to go right now. Every demon that makes them come into agreement with self-degrading, self-destructive lies about themselves, I break it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Father God, I thank you that they are a new creature in Christ. All demons that came in through humiliation and shame, I command it out right now. Come out, spirits. All demons that block ministry, all demons that block them from being able to fulfill their calling, feeling inadequate to speak in front of crowds, feeling inadequate to teach others the Bible, feeling inadequate to evangelize, feeling inadequate to cast out demons and to heal the sick. I break that inadequacy right now in the name of Jesus. Father, your word says that we can do all things through Christ who strengthen us. Father, your word says that you've chosen the foolish things of this world. You've chosen those who are not of a noble birth, those who are the, the base things of this world to confound that which is mighty. So Father, I pray that they'd be able to draw strength from you because Father, your word says, when we are weak, you are strong in us. Your strength is made perfect in our weakness. We thank you, Father God, for your strength. I pray that they will be able to rely, Father God, on your strength. Father, your word says that we are not of those uh, who put our confidence of the flesh, but we are the true circumcision, circumcision which worship God in spirit. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, may they be able to draw their confidence, their strength, their hope from the promises of your word. Every demon that says the promises of God apply to everybody else but you, I command that deception to be broken right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out, you wicked spirits. Fear of never getting married, fear of never having good relationships, I break it right now. And all demons that came in to, through a negative response to failure, I command it out right now. The Bible says nothing shall be impossible to those who believe. So we thank you, Father God, that all things are possible, that they can do everything. Father, your word says to him who is able to do above and exceedingly beyond all that we've asked or thought. Father, I thank you that they can be an overcomer, they can conquer they can be an overachiever in your kingdom. Father, may courage rise in their hearts as they listen to this prayer. And every demonic stronghold, we break it in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you demons to release them. Come out of the mouth. Come out of the eyes. Come out of the ears. Come out of the body gates right now, spirits. You have to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demon that steals people's confidence when people have a negative response to what they are doing. Sudden loss of confidence confidence syndrome. I break it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out, spirits. 
every demon that makes people doubt their decisions because people have a negative response to it. Man-pleasing spirits, I command it out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. All inadequacy spirits that came in through a disappointment from the parents, I command it out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Inadequacy spirits that came in through your parents being disappointed with you, rejecting you, not wanting you. I break those lies right now. I pray, Father, that these demons would be uprooted in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. I command you wicked spirits to come out of them up and out right now in Jesus' name. Up and out spirits right now. I command you to go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I come against setback and delay. Father, I pray that setback and delay delay regarding marriage, finances, regarding their calling, regarding their ministry would be broken in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every demonic spirit of idolatry of man, idolizing relationships, idolizing men, drawing your confidence from your relationships with people, in your relationships with boyfriends, girlfriends, fiancés. I break it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every spirit of loneliness to go. Come out spirits right now in the name of Jesus, Father. I pray that they would be able to truly find their strength that comes from you, Father God. Father, we thank you that we put no confidence in the flesh. We put no confidence in our own ability. We thank you, Father God, that it is by your strength that we can achieve, that we can overcome, that we can do your will. So in the name of Jesus Christ, I command all demons that steal away confidence to go right now. Fear, we command it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, your word says perfect love drives out fear. So please fill them, Father God, with the love of you to be able to trust you in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that they would be able to preach and evangelize and minister to others even when others don't receive it. Every demon that makes people doubt out whether they did God's will because of a negative response to their ministry, I break it right now in the name of Jesus. Envy, jealousy, bitterness that has entered in when people had a negative response to what you were doing, I break it in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that they would have humility and that no jealousy, bitterness, envy, quarreling would enter their hearts, Father God. All comparison spirits, every demon that makes you compare yourself to others, others' looks, to others' finances, to others' ministries, to others' achievements, all depression and discouragement that has come in as a result of comparing yourself to others, I break that deception right now. I command all spirits of covetousness that make them compare themselves in an unhealthy way to other human beings. I command it broken right now. All fantasy spirits that make them only fantasize about success, make them only fantasize about achievement achieving and doing God's will, but never do it, I command it broken right now. Father, your word says that we should not be hearers of the word only, deceiving ourselves, but doers of the word. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that they'd be able to behold the mirror that is your word and to be able to overcome this internal bondage in the name of Jesus Christ. So every demon that I've called out, I command it out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out, spirits, all the way out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear Feeling inadequate to be able to work a job. We command it out right now in the name of Jesus. Come out, spirits. Feeling inadequate to be able to please your spouse. I break it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out, spirits. Settling for less. Settling for failure. Settling for barely just getting by. I break that compromise and that procrastination spirit. I command the spirit of procrastination to release them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Escaping, uh, escapism spirits. Escaping from life's responsibilities escaping from what God has called you to do, cutting corners, lying, compromising, white lies in order to get by. Father, we pray that those shortcuts, those demons that lead people to do shortcuts would be broken in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that they'd be able to stand steadfast in their confidence in you, to have endurance and patience. Father, I pray that they would not be anxious or hasty to draw conclusions of negative things. Every 
every demonic spirit that makes them hasty to conclude that they failed, hasty to conclude that people have rejected them. I break that hastiness right now in Jesus' name. And Father, may they have endurance and patience in the name of Jesus to see the seeds that they have planted grow up into fruit-bearing trees. We thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Every demon that says nobody cares about what you're doing, that nobody cares spirit that speaks in the mind, I break it right now. Come out, spirits. Go, 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 go. Feeling like you're failing in the middle of doing things. Feeling like you're failing in the middle of giving speeches. I command it to go. You demons that bring tormenting, intrusive thoughts into the mind, I command it out right now. Out of the mouth, out of the eyes, out right now. Spirits, come out every which way in the name of Jesus Christ. We lose the vision into the kingdom of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, please fill them with joy and rejoicing in who you have created them to be. Father God, in who and also who Christ is in them. We thank you, Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, may they be filled with boldness. Father, your word says that the righteous are as bold as lions. In the name of Jesus, I command all spirits of cowardice, timidity, fear to leave in the name of Jesus. And Father, may they be filled with boldness to do all that you've called them to do, even if it looks like they are failing, even if it looks like according to the world, they are not succeeding. Father, I pray that they would walk by faith and not by sight. Every demon that tries to tempt them to walk by sight, I break it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, may they walk by faith, knowing that if they trust in the promises of your word, they will see good fruit. They will see you move in their lives. So in the name of Jesus, I command all doubt to be broken right now. Give up quitter spirits. Demons that lead people to always give up right before they're about to have breakthrough. Always ready to give up right before they succeed, right before they reach the next level. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that that setback and delay would be broken off their lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and that they would walk in confidence and boldness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So every demonic spirit has to come out right now. We command you demons to flee in the powerful name of Jesus all the way up and out right now spirits. Any demons still manifesting, I command them out of the mouth. I command them out of the emotions, the soul, the mind, in Jesus' name. And Father, may your Holy Spirit fill every empty void in Jesus' name. Father God, please fill them with good fruit that comes from Jesus Christ. Father God, that they would not lose the progress that they've made, that they would not doubt and drift away. Father, your word says to not cast off our confidence, wherewith there is great recompense of reward. Father, may they inherit the reward and the blessing that you have for them for enduring and confidence and in faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father God, we give you praise and thanks in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you guys in the name of Jesus. I hope that you are blessed by this prayer. If you're still receiving deliverance, you can watch this prayer multiple times over. If you have received deliverance through this video, please testify about it down in the comment section. And even if you want as well too, feel free to send me an email if you want to give a testimony that way or even give an interview testimony of how these deliverance videos have been blessing people. Please share your testimony, you know, because uh, it really does help other people to be inspired to receive deliverance. And uh, the Bible says that we overcome the devil by sharing our testimony, right? In the book of Revelation. So uh, anyways, guys, I just praise God. I know that uh, many people have been delivered through this video by faith. I have confidence. Amen. Like I was saying in the prayer. So uh, yeah, guys, I don't have too much else to say. Um, yeah, other than that. So just encourage you guys to spend time with God, spend time in the word of God. You know, if you really want to grow in confidence, spend time with Father God. Have that alone time with God consistently. I'm not going to put any specific uh, logistic stipulation of time that you have to do, but just as God leads you, make sure to spend sufficient uh, time with Him. So, God bless you guys in the name of Jesus Christ, um, and I'll see you guys in the comment section in the next video, somewhere Lord willing. Amen.